welcome back to my channel, unless of course you're new here, in which case, hi, hello, my name is Ashley and welcome to my random little corner of the internet. It has been a hot minute since I have recorded anything, um, <laughs> so it might just be a jumbly hot mess, but I don't think that's really any different than any of my other videos, truly, so. As you can tell from today's title, uh, it's gonna be a little different today. Um, giving you a TBR video, but also, I'm announcing that I'm hosting a TB, er, a TBR. A readathon next month. Uh, May is going to be the Umbrella Academy readathon. I'm gonna have the Discord linked down below in the description. I think we're pretty much gonna be doing it there, but why Umbrella Academy? Why not? I'm completely obsessed with the show. I cannot wait for season three. And I thought, you know, why not? Why not? One doesn't exist, or one doesn't exist that I could find, so I made it my own and we're just gonna see how it goes. So, I'm not gonna jibber jabber on for too, too long. I'm just gonna get into all of the prompts, which again, will be linked below. They are available in the Discord as well. And then uh, after I do that, I'm gonna get into my TBR. There are 11 prompts. My reading hasn't been the greatest, so I'm probably not going to pick a book for all 11 prompts because that's a really big goal. But, there are some people out there who, uh, they could read 11 books in the first half of the month. And I admire you greatly. I wish I could read faster, but we'll see. Anyways, so, we're just going to get into the prompts, okay? The first prompt, of course, obviously, is just going to be The Umbrella Academy. And this prompt is going to be any book that contains a magical school, magical children, superhero crime-fighting children. Basically, this is kind of a broad prompt. Um, kids with some sort of powers and with some sort of, yeah, powers. It's crime fighting, superheroes, magical, whatever. It's a pretty broad prompt. Um, our next prompt is going to be the Hargreaves, which is the last name of the people, the family, I guess, in the Umbrella Academy. Um, so for that prompt we're going to do a found family or a large family. That does not have to be blood related. The Hargreaves are not blood related, they're all adopted, so found family, large family, there we have it. Alright, and then we get into each individual member of the Umbrella Academy. So we have number one, who's also named Luther, who was also nicknamed Space Boy, and because of his nickname being Space Boy, the prompt is going to be a book that is set in space. Easy enough, right? Number two, we have Diego who is also known as the Kraken. This one doesn't have to do with his nickname, this is just because if you've seen the show, if you've read the comic, you know he's pretty good with some some daggers. So for this prompt, read a book featuring a blade wielder. Knives, daggers, swords, whatever. Size, that's a blade. It works. For number three, we have Allison, the rumor. For this one, we're going to do a book featuring a celebrity character or someone trying to become famous because, as we know, Allison is a very famous actress and rumored her way to the top, basically. I mean, I'm sure she's talented. We don't get to see that. But For number four, everyone's favorite character, and if you say he's not, it's okay. Everybody's allowed to like what they like. For number four, we have Klaus, who is also known as the Seance. So for this one, you're going to read a book that has ghosts or spirits, because that's what he does. He talks to ghosts and spirits. For number five, number five never had a name. He was just five, or the boy. And because of his uh, time-hopping abilities, for his prompt, it's going to be a book that features time traveling, or is set in the past. For number six, we have Ben who, as we know from episode one, is not actually alive anymore. But Klaus can talk to him because he's a ghost. But he was alive at one point in time, and his name is Ben, and he's known as The Horror. So for this book, for this prompt, we're just going to do a book that features monsters. Number seven, Vanya, The White Violin. You know, they really don't do her power justice in the TV show. I read the comic, and she straight up physically turns into, like, a giant white violin. 
It's really cool. I mean, obviously we wouldn't want to do that to Elliot Page. Like, that'd be weird. Because then he just permanently looks like a violin. But anyway, uh, for this one, we're going to do a book featuring magicians. Not magicians. Musicians. Violin, music, musicians. So, for seven, Vanya, the white violin, a book featuring musicians. Then, we're going to go out of the Umbrella Academy grouping, The Handler. We know The Handler works with five in his little time hoppy place. I'm going to put in what it's called right here because I can't remember what the organization is called. But, you know, The Handler, The Head Lady. And so for her prompt, we're going to be doing a book featuring a morally gray character. Again, that gives you a whole slew of books to choose from. These bro books are not meant to be, like, confining prompts at all. And then our final one is going to be Hazel and Cha-Cha, a book featuring assassins. The whole point of this readathon is to have fun and to read and have motivation because, honestly, I know that I read more when I have a goal that I'm striving for and to finish all these prompts is a goal. If I'm just like, I don't have anything to follow this month, I'm just going to mood read, I typically don't read. That's not to say that I'm not in the mood to read. I'm in the mood to read. It just, I never, I don't know what to choose. And it's, it's hard to do without prompts. So, so now that I have given my, or given over all of the prompts and the, t the uh, listing for the readathon, I'm going to get into my TBR for May and what books I will be reading for prompts. Uh, like I said, I do not have all of them. Um, I did, there was a question that came up in the Discord already because there are a few people that are already there. Thank you guys for being there. Um, was, can you read more than one, can you read one bo book that fits more than one prompt? And absolutely. Again, this is for fun. I don't have strict rules for anything. If you find a book featuring a blade-wielding assassin from a large family, you just killed three prompts in one. Works for me. Um, so yeah, I don't have any of those. I think I'm pretty much going to... Well, actually I do. Um, I have a couple that fit more than one prompt, but it'll be... It is what it is. Alright, so, for myself... The first book I'm going to read, I'm actually not going to read them in any order. I'm just going to list them off. This is how. And then I'll mood read from this list. So this first book fits into Umbrella Academy and the Hargreaves because they are a large family, but they are magical children as well. And that is going to be The House in the Cerulean Sea by T.J. Klune. Next up for Luther slash Space Boy, which again is a book set in space, I will be reading Aurora Rising. For number three, The Kraken, a book featuring a blade wielder, I'm going to be reading Six of Crows. That's going to be a different video. My reaction of Shadow and Bone, it was fantastic. I had read the first book in preparation, not knowing that Six of Crows was its own. So having those characters in the show, I didn't know, I didn't know who they were, what that was going on, and I was very confused, but I am going to read it, because Inej... Has lots of knives. <laughs> Number three, Allison, uh, the rumor, a celebrity character or someone trying to become famous. I'm going to be reading Princess and the Fangirl by Ashley Poston. As you can see right here behind me, I have Geek Gorilla and um, Bookish and the Beast. Princess and the Fangirl is the one in between it, and it does the princess is uh, an actress in this TV show that's being remade, and she doesn't really want to do it anymore and the fangirl is like but this is my favorite show and I need you to do it but it is a twist on Princess and the Popper so the two actually look alike so I'm assuming they fix it I don't know that's why you read the book all right the next up is Klaus Seance Ghost or Spirits I'm gonna be reading Raven the Raven King I have absolutely adored the Raven cycle so far so this is the final book in the series and so I'm super excited um a big part of Blue, who is one of the main characters, her family can see spirits once a year. Um, also, one of the main characters' name is Noah. Not Noah. 
Hey, it's Editing Ashley, and yes, his name is Noah. I keep getting him confused with Rowan, and that's why I was f confused for a second there. But uh, Noah is, we find out in the first book, a ghost, but he's hanging around with everybody basically like Ben does. So it's kind of the same situation. So yes, for prompt number three, Ben, nope, not Ben, <laughs> Klaus, Ghost or Spirits, The Raven King. Moving on. All right, for number five, The Boy, Time Traveling or Set in the Past, I'm going to be reading Clockwork Princess. I am currently reading A Clockwork Prince right now. So, you know, just finish it up the, the series for me. And that's going to be it for my TBR. That is one, two, three, four, five, six books. I've been averaging about five a month, so we're going to see what happens. Um, I'm confident. We shall see. We, we, we shall see. None of these are huge. Um, in the past, a lot of them, you know, I read A Court of Silver Flames, and that sucker was almost 900 pages. None of these are that bad, so it might turn out better. We'll see. So that's going to wrap up my TBR and the Readathon prompts. But wait! There's more! If you join us on our Readathon and join our Discord and log in your books, all you have to read is one book. One book and you log it in onto the Google form that is going to be linked in the Discord, you're going to be entered into a giveaway to win the Umbrella Academy comic book graphic novel thing. Um, for every entry past your first book will be another entry into the giveaway. Because why not? Why, you know, incentive to read more on top of just having this goal in yourself. I don't know. Sounds like a good idea. Like I said, everything's going to be linked down in the description below. I was right. This was a hot mess of a video, but I hope that you enjoyed it, and I hope that you join us over on Discord. And I'm posting this today, which is April 27th, so we only have three more days until we start. I hope to see you guys over on Discord so that we can talk and share our TBRs and just have lots of fun. And that's going to be it, and I hope that you liked this video. If you did, go ahead and hit the big thumbs up button, as well as that big subscribe button and the notification bell, so that you're always notified every time that I upload. And until next time, bye!